Hart's fully fit. You've got Uga Chukwu. You've got Cassiedo. You know, who else? There's somebody else. Cassiedo, Lavia, Uga Chukwu. There's another one. Who's the other one? I need to look it up. I can't remember. Lavia, Enzo. <laughs> How can you forget about Enzo? So there's definitely three three people that may start over Conor Gallagher, possibly four. So Conor Gallagher could be fifth choice, Scotty Frog. So I'm not sure if he's going to get a game. <laughs> right, uh, that, that. Oh, you don't you don't care, Scotty Frogs. That's good, pal. If you're if you're cool, I'm cool. Don't worry about that, pal. I dread to think what Jimmy's neighbours think. Oh, God. I bet they've all got their hooses soundproof. You know how you get these studios with all the padding on the walls? That's what they've got. Jimmy might have hearing issues. You see, most people who shout have an issue with hearing. I know for a fact that Alex, because I, I had Alex on my channel one time, and he said he's got, like, a problem with one of his ears. So that's why Alex is really loud, because he doesn't know he's being loud. So he just needs to turn his his uh, audio down a little bit. Someday, he needs to go in the studio with somebody and he needs to say talk and then get him to turn his sound down a little bit. Because even if he can't hear it, somebody could adjust it for him. Uh, there's a few with loud audio. You've got Steve, Steve, Strasbourg Steve. His audio's too loud. You've got uh, Alex's audio's loud. Jimmy Spliff's audio's no loud. He just shouts. <laughs> Yeah, I had problems with my audio. Uh, it was so loud in the settings that it was cutting my mic out, but I, t I turned it down, and then it was too low, and then I've had to turn it back up again. So audio can be adjusted. Uh, Jimmy's a DJ. That's right. Who said that? Oh, Goddy Frogs, you're right. Jimmy, Jimmy's a DJ. He's probably deaf because he's been in the discos all the time with the headphones on and the booming music. It's like, see, sometimes pop stars, like musicians, are all deaf because they've been near the big speakers and all that. Ah, oh, good point, Goddy Frogs. Yeah. There you have it first. Jimmy doesn't like it in his face. He likes it. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that one, Goddy Frogs. I've missed you, buddy, eh? I've missed the riskiness. Oh, for fuck's sake, I mean, Mitchie. <laughs> Easier to get on with people... Tony Tiger saying then not get on me people be nice until it's time not to be nice. that's it as well Tony Tiger I'm not as nice as I come across and that's where these people get it wrong but the thing is they're no facing me in the street they're no facing me in the street they're behind a keyboard uh, Goddy Frogs I think Gallagher gets Lavi out the 11 you, you're a you're a Gallagher stan though so you're, you're just letting your emotions uh, talk over practicality Gallagher has played better but I think that game, I've just watched it again tonight, he was starting to get press resistant. One of the big criticisms I would have with Gallagher up until that game there is he wasn't press resistant. You could actually challenge him and he'd just fall over and stuff like that. He actually was more assured with his touches and he moved the ball away from people. Now that's coaching and training. It's all about opening up your body. Somebody comes on one side, you sort of turn your body. There is techniques to all this, and I think he's getting coached well now. And that's what I see with a lot of these players in the team. I think they're getting coached better, guys. And I think it shows. I think Potter was a disaster. I don't know what that guy was doing. He was highly rated, but the team was awful. This team, and you got to remember, Pochettino's only been with them a short period of time, and they were already looking a lot better. Gallagher, nobody would have kept Gallagher last season. Look at him now. People are starting to say, let's keep him in the team. Let's keep him in the team. He's worthy of a, a, of a squad, a squad place at least, if not a starter. And people can actually see him improving and maybe being a starter in the future. It's going to be tough though, because there's a lot of talent in that midfield, guys. Where are we up to? Lavia is data only. Fact he is, fact is he was a, a small for a relegated team and unproven in a blue shirt. I'm not convinced the midfield is stacked, as you say. Certainly not with Chelsea proven players. No, I don't think they can be proven, uh, Tony, because a lot of these guys have had a season in the top flight. A lot of these guys have never played for a top team like Chelsea. What's going to happen is we have to get them in a team and get them to prove it. 
Uh, my big concern, Tony Tiger, is these guys, they're no experience. They're, they ain't Michael Ballack's. They ain't prime time drug buzz. So some people are expecting that, like Kai today on Lucy's channels. Every time we sign somebody, he's wanting like, he's wanting prime Neymar, he's wanting prime Ballack, he's wanting prime drug buzz, he's wanting prime Lampard. That's what he's wanting us to sign. We're not signing these guys. And you guys have to get used to it because it's just not going to happen. Look at the way they've rolled all this season. The, the players they're bringing in. It doesn't matter what you think. They're doing what they're doing. This is a model. They're going to keep bringing in prospects. They're going to keep bringing in players with one, maybe two years experience. They're going to try and get them on a good deal. They're going to get them under 100 grand a week wage with maybe some incentives. They're going to get them on a fee and they're going to spread it over six, eight years. Now, fair enough, they maybe close that loophole next summer, but they said they were going to close it this year and it never closed. But anyway, they'll keep doing this till that loophole gets shut. When that loophole goes shut, hopefully we, at the moment, I think we've got a good enough squad and that squad's just going to mature and get better and better and they'll keep offloading players to balance the books because that's what the Gallagher sale would be just to balance the books. It's not because they want rid of the player. It's to balance the books. If we get 50 million for him, that sorts things out. And next season, we get in the Champions League, we get this sponsorship. This sponsorship's meant to get uh, announced in the next so many days. It's meant to get announced just before the uh, Nottingham Forest game, I think it is, at Nottingham Forest. So if we get that sponsorship, that's 40 million. If we can get some players sold before the end of the transfer window, that'll balance the books a little bit. Or we do sell people in January. Or next summer. Uh, but we've got three years as well, guys. That's what you've got to remember. We've got three years to balance the books. So we, we just need to get these players in, develop them. Uh, hopefully enough of them do well. We've got a great first team. I'm like you. I would I would love to get a brilliant striker in, just to put that icing in the top. But they brought Jackson in. He looks like a great player. But it's just, is he going to score us 20 goals? I, I, want, a tw I want a 20 goal sort of striker. Uh, I don't know if Jackson's going to get us 20 goals. I don't even know if he's going to get us 10 goals. But we'll see. Remember Tammy Abraham, who I thought wasn't that great? He got 18 goals, I think. And he wasn't even that great. So we'll see. Uh, the one I'm worried about is the Matson boy. I want Matson to re-sign. If we sign him up in a long contract, I'll be delighted. If he goes the same way that uh, Halls went, I'll be gutted. But the one thing I will say about uh, Matson, I've seen him, I've watched him play tonight. I watched that whole game tonight while I was doing my stream. And he is quite small, but he's so good. I think sometimes if you're if you're, you're good, it doesn't matter if you're small. And that's the same way I thought about uh, little Billy Goatmore. I thought he's small, but he's so good. And I would have kept Billy Goatmore. And I, I want to keep Matson. It's not because he's a Cobham boy. It's because he's a great player. And I see him, did you see that little boy, he just, he, he got the ball, he sort of dragged it and he just chipped it over the top. That That's that's something we never had last season, you know. We never had that last season enough. I know Enzo came to the team and he did it maybe now and again, but he was too busy, too far deep. Now we're getting Enzo forward a bit, I think you'll see a better Enzo. There is a bit of criticism coming for Enzo, but I think... Some people need to have a bit of patience. The other thing I'll caveat with all my waffle I've just gave you is that was against uh, Wimbledon. We need to be doing that against all the big teams in the Premier League because we struggled against West Ham, I think, just because we were playing a big, strong team. And there's a few teams in the Premier League that are actually big, strong teams. You know, they've got six, seven giants and that's where we need to be really good, really slick. But sometimes you need a bit of pace and power. So Ugu Chuku, I want to see him on the team. Uh, right, we're down to Goddy Frog. Goddy Frog's I'm on the Gallica hype train. He's had one solid season in Palace. Gallica has done more than Lavi in the Premier League. Now he has a good gaffer guiding him. Uh, best player for Palace two seasons back, and so far he's top three best players in the Chelsea this season. Uh, Tony Tiger says, but we shouldn't be letting young players like Gallica go until these players have proven their worth. I think that's why they've kept Gallagher and w why they may keep Gallagher because Gallagher will stabilise the midfield a little bit and give these boys time to come in. 
because what they did is they decided to loan out Santos rather than, you know, get rid of Gallagher. They could have got rid of Gallagher because the offers came in, but they decided to keep Gallagher to stabilise the team and they loaned Santos out. So uh, we'll find out what's going to happen. Metal Face Doom, good to see you in here again, Patrick. Goddy Frogs, thought you despise Connor and Chili. No, it's Chili. He hates Chili. Uh, Metal Face, he hates Chili and he loves Connor. Uh, Chelsea Boy 123. Four says better not loan out or sell Matson. I think something's going to happen. He, has he signed that contract or they're going to try and get some money for him? I don't know what happened with the chat guys, but it went wonky. I wonder if it's working now. Yeah, it's working now, but I'm just about to shut down, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> right, guys. Thanks tonight, uh, Metal Face Doom, Tony Tiger, Goddy Frogs. Aye, it must be StreamYard. Whoever this guy is, I've still not got a clue. It's, he's somebody that's been a subscriber for a while, but he's got banned or something. He's had to change his name, so I don't know who you are. Innocent, good to see you in here, pal. Uh, Chelsea Boy, one, two, three, four. Good to see you in here, pal. Who else have we got? Really busy chat. Hunters and hunters. Indefinite. Big up indefinite. Big up Coomber. He jumped in with one. And indefinite. We'll say indefinite. Bob, 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 bob. Coomber. Big up Coomber. There's his yin. And Metal Face Doom. You were in. Oh, Jacob Hag Jacob Huggins, good to see you in here, pal. And uh, I'll not see you for a wee while, guys, but thanks for coming in. Uh, it's great to have a wee chat with you towards the end because when you've got the panellists in, it's tough. It is tough to get to talk to you. So uh, remember, <coughs> if you've not subscribed yet, even if you're not in the chat, subscribe to Mitchy Boy. It's the road to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm 987 the last time I checked. So I've still got another, what, three, another 13. Oh my God, so close. See, I'd like to keep streaming till I get it, but it doesn't work like that, guys. I could do 100 streams and I didn't get another subscriber. Teams of the week, I've already went through that. Comments, get rid of that. Oh, it's went wonky again. It must be StreamYard, because it's a bit wonky. And banner, get rid of that. Roger and goal, coach, uh, Chelsea's perspective, the manager, beautiful game, Chelsea till I die, Grant Ross, Blue Clay, CNF, CFC Stephen, Shoe, Sm Bobby Smokey Signals, Dennis Maldini, Philippe Courtois. And the other team is Balance, Mickey Droyboy manager, Catarax, Tony Tiger, Jacob Huggins, Kumba, Santiago Munez, Keyshawn, Hannah, Glenn Glenn, PX Gunner and Logic. There you go. I will change the teams for next team uh, next time, uh, especially guys that are in the chat tonight. That's how I try and do it. I've actually noted doing the night anyway because it's a lot easier if I just... Uh, God bless you, Metal Face Doom, and uh, thanks for all your support, pal. I really appreciate it. Thought you despite... <laughs> Have a good weekend, guys. Up the Chelsea. Up the motherfucking Chelsea. Did you hear that new game, the next round of the Cup? It's not going to be televised again, so we're going to have the same nonsense again. What the carry on, eh? I actually was off to see it. I, 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 finished, I finished at like half six, and the game started at quarter to eight. I got back and couldn't get the game, eh? It wasn't getting televised. Absolute nuisance. So you guys are what, use what you wait out, the cookery are twins, you think we'll get rid of them soon? Uh, I don't think it's going to happen now, I think he's going to stay. Uh, the only thing that worries me is, if they've tried to push him off to Man United and it's not happened, we've unsettled the boy, but what's probably happened is, they've not even let Man United speak to him, because Man United have said, uh, we'll give you two million or that, they're like, ah, beat it, beat it. Two million. It's seven million or go away. That's what I hope's happened. I hope they've none settled them. But to be honest, he played he seemed really enthusiastic uh, in that game. He he looks as if he tried out. This'll not this'll annoy you all the Johnny Minerals uh, followers. Do you think do you think uh, Todd Bully's 
cooking up a good meal or do you think he's an absolute clown? I think most of you in the chat will think he's a clown, eh? What do you think? And the Willy Mammoth is gone. He's gone to Roma. And apparently Tino angerin has gone as well. Uh, ZH is already gone. So we're getting there, guys. I think the, I think the clear-out's just about done. Uh, we're just about there. And there, there's Roger. Donkey, all right, donkey. And this is what I'm talking about, Goddy Frogs. To me, this is our, our midfield. You've got Ugo Chuku can maybe come in. You've got Conor Gallagher at the moment, eh? So it's going to be tough getting in there. What do you think? That'll be Goddy Frogs crying. And that'll be me. I'll be shocked. Right, I'm going to knock it in the head because I could sit here waffling all night because I'm really good at it. I'll put the music on. What do you think? I'm going to put on the cat. Damn down. They just think they are. Never little wanna be gangster trying to play hard. Damn down. They just think they are. Never little wanna be gangster trying to play hard. <gasps> Gangster trying to play hard. Dink down, it is think they are. Never little wanna be gangster trying to play hard. Dink down, dink down, dink down, dink down. I am a chest in front of. I am a chess if I know When we will lose together We are as we fall together I am a chess if I know I am a chess if I know When we will lose together We are as we fall together I am a chess if I know I am a Jesse Fano We will be lost together We are as we fall together Together we overcome Together we can be stopped For Niti Lekoro Oladara We will reach those goals we set together I am a Jesse Fano I am a Jesse Fano We will we lose together We rise we fall together oh. I am a Jesse Fano Jesse Fano I am a Jesse Fano For war of my Jesse Logan We will lose together Together we win We rise we fall together Cause we will not all <laughs> awesome guys, good night eh? 